So you have to go to the terminal of Carcelen, the bus station here in Quito. To go there I recommend you to take an Uber because here in Quito the public transportation is really bad. Also as you can see the bus are really comfortable. And don't forget to bring with you the important things in front of you. Always take care about that because I read a, a lot of comments that people lose their iPhones and things on buses. So please don't leave mm, the things in your backpacks. Okay guys, welcome back. You see we are at the market. So let's go. Follow me. Okay guys, if you are wondering how to get to the market, it's really easy. If you came on Saturdays, um, you only have to walk a little bit from the bus station and you're gonna find the market because it's around all the city. And if you don't come in a Saturday, you can ask some people and you have to walk a little bit because the bus station is really close. The Tabellan people uh, maintain and preserve the tradition of all these uh, handicrafts that you can see. They are all made with their traditional thing and you can see there is a lot of color, a lot of beautiful things so it's better that you buy here because you want to help a lot of people who live uh, of this and they make all preserving this tradition so it's really cool and you can see all the people wearing the traditional clothes that they use and they used to uh, produce here in this area with a big machine but right now they prefer to make his own clothes with their own hands. Okay guys, so the market takes place here at Plaza de Ponchos, but if you came on Saturdays, the market gonna take place in all the city. So all the streets, I mean the main streets, gonna be with a lot of uh, these little stores where you can buy whatever you want. So if you want to see a big market, you have to come on Saturdays. You can see the market is really beautiful, they have a really good things, a really nice thing with a good quality, so yeah, I really recommend you to go around here. Uh, a recommendation here is that you have a small bills, you have a lot of coins, because here you can negotiate the price always, so for example if you go to a store and you see I wanna look around, they're gonna start like as you for less and less so they convince you that you buy the thing so it's really common that you can negotiate the price and buy things for a lower price so bring with you coins Okay guys, so we are here in the market. This is the best place where you can buy all the things that you need. For example, if you want to go to Cotopaxi because there is really cold. And also if you want to go to Cayambe, you can here buy scarves, hats and gloves. Are really warm so they're gonna and they're gonna help you a lot on the Cotopaxi. So here is the better place because here you can negotiate the price. I always recommend you to go to, for example, if you are looking for a glove in a different place like because you're always gonna find the same thing more cheap so uh, it's worth that you can walk around here it's really nice and see all the prices all the things that are made with uh, hands they all produce most of the things doing with hands so it's really amazing and yeah I uh, hope you can come from you hope you can enjoy this because it's really nice and here you can find ponchos they are really nice and they are handmade and really warm so you should buy one of these because sometimes when you are hiking it's really cold so this is a good option and an Ecuadorian option for the cold. Okay guys, so he, we are trying this poncho, as you can see it's really uh, beautiful. They told us that to 
produce this poncho, they use like two hours and they use a machine. So yeah, as you can see, it's really nice, really comfortable and also really warm. So, so yeah, really like, what do you think? Do I should buy this poncho? You guys, you can see the jackets are made from albaca. Are really warm and really comfortable. So yeah, I recommend you to buy this because if you want to hike, for example, uh, in Babura, Quicocha, Cotacachi, it's really cool. So this is gonna help you a lot. And as you can see, are really nice and also comfortable. So yeah, right now he's showing me a lot of different size. And yeah, what do you think? I should buy this one or that one? Leave in the comments, please. Otavalo is a really cool place, as you can see the market is amazing and this is the biggest market in Latin America, the indigenous market, so it's really a cool place to come. Saturdays is when the market gets really big around the city, but also you can come wherever you want and they always gonna be here at Plaza de Ponchos on the middle of the town. So yeah, it's really cool. Um, the thing with the Tabalo is a lot of people come only in one day, and I think that Otavalo and Imbabura province worth like to stay more than one day, probably two days if you have time, because you can do a lot of things. I'm gonna show you later. As you have waterfalls, you have like lakes, you have um, viewpoints and. You are near to Cotacachi, that is an amazing town. You have Ibarra. You can try a lot of food here. And yeah, it's really cool. So I recommend you to stay at least two days here in Otavalo. So you definitely have to come here, it really worth on Otavalo, have a lot of things, you have waterfalls, you should try your more, so if you are wondering if you should come, definitely yes, and try your more, don't forget to do that. Also on Saturdays you can find a lot of food, a lot of food here and a lot of handicrafts around all the city. You're gonna see a lot of culture because you're gonna see how the people sell it. They put some music and it's really interesting to walk around the city on Saturdays. So yeah, you should come here and um, I'm gonna show you other places here in Otavalo, in Imbabura things that you can do here so please uh, subscribe to my channel so you can see more videos and more recommendations about Ecuador that is a really cool place thanks for watching me comment where are you from and tell me wherever you want whatever question you need let me in the comments so I can answer you see you later guys bye thank you for watching bye bye